How are you doing? This is Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. The other day, I had an unexpected inspirational moment. I was watching one of the TV morning shows, which I seldom if ever do, and there was a guy on one of the shows named Patrick Richardson. Have you seen this guy? Have you heard of him? He's the laundry evangelist. The laundry evangelist. It blew my mind. So, so watch. The message of the laundry evangelist is this, that there's good news for people with dirty laundry. Oh, now wait a minute. As the laundry evangelist, he's the good news bearer that whatever it is that you have that's stained, whatever it is that you have that's grown old and grimy, it can be made to look new again. And here's what he said. He said, laundry is an expression of love. Now, that stuck with me. That was an unexpected inspirational moment because immediately I thought of the Bible. In Isaiah chapter 7, verse 3, we read, Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out, you and your son Shirjashub, to meet Ahaz at the end of the aqueduct of the upper pool, on the road to the launderer's field. Now, we might just let that slide, but as it turns out, this happened when the the nation, when Judah was on red alert from the army of Syria. That's Isaiah chapter 7. In Isaiah chapter 36, a similar thing happens, but now it's with Sennacherib, the king of Assyria. Verse 2 Then the king of Assyria sent a field commander with a large army from Lachish to King Hezekiah at Jerusalem. When the commander stopped at the aqueduct of the upper pool on the road to the launderer's field. Here's the point. Both times when the nation was in peril, God had Isaiah to meet the leader on the road that led by the aqueduct to the launderer's field, to the place to get clean. Now, Malachi chapter 3 verse 2 says this, Who can endure the day of his coming? We're speaking of the, the day of the Lord. Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. Now, Here's the situation. Malachi tells us that when the Lord comes, it's going to be like a great cleansing. Isaiah is telling us when we're facing difficulty, when we're facing insurmountable odds, the thing that we want to be able to do is to approach it with a clean heart. The laundry evangelist reminds us of this, that everybody has the opportunity to get clean get clean, to get cleansed. One of the things the laundry evangelist did was to remove a lipstick stain from a wedding gown. Thought it was ruined? The laundry evangelist says, no, that can be recovered. Old, old, grimy sofa cushion? We are going to have to throw it away? No, 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 says the laundry evangelist. It can be renewed. Now watch. If Patrick Richardson can do this for some old clothes and some old fabric on a sofa. Imagine what the cleansing power of Jesus Christ can do for you. So look, without spot, without blemish, remember that forgiveness is the detergent of the soul. With inspirational moments, this is Ken Jobst. God bless you. 